In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a battery widget on Android. For this video, I'm using a Samsung S23 Plus, so please keep that in mind because the process for what I'm about to show you might be a little bit different depending on a type of Android device that you have. So the first thing I want you to do is to head over to your home screen and find some empty space. As you can see, I have some empty space right here, so what I want you to do is to tap and hold, and then a menu of a sort is going to pop up. Then, if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, click on Widgets. And this is going to pull up a big list of widgets that you can add to your home screen. So find battery, which is right here. And if you take a look to the right hand side of battery, you will see the number two. That indicates the number of uh, widgets for the battery application that you can add on your particular device. Now, in my case, it's two. On yours, it might be less. It might be more. Uh, so in order to add a widget, what you want to do is tap on the arrow key here. And that's going to open up the different widgets that you can add for the battery. So as you can see, I've got the battery status uh, in circles and I have the battery status as a list. So I like to keep my things simple. So I'm gonna tap on the first one and then I'm gonna click on add. And just like that, within a few seconds, my battery widget has been added. So as you can see, only the first circle is filled out, which is my phone's battery. But if I have my headphones connected to my uh, Android device, then they're gonna appear in the second circle. And if you have multiple other devices connected, they're going to appear on the third and the fourth circle. So if you want to get rid of these uh, little circles here, which appear in my case, what you can do is basically uh, hold on top of the widget and then click on settings and basically just make that 100% down to 10. And as you can see, they have disappeared. Now you can obviously choose black or white, but that only applies if, um, you know, the transparency is uh, in full effect. But I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to click on save. And as you can see, the widget has been added to my screen. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add a battery widget on Android. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.